three. Kimani Chungwa, you can go with five minutes. Junet, be ready with five minutes. Then the rest will do three, three, three. Thank, thank you, Honorable Speaker, for this opportunity. Honorable Speaker, there has been a misconception that NGCDF is a fund that belongs to members of parliament. And indeed, Honorable Speaker, for those who have taken time, and I'm sure many of us have shared, uh, have read the judgment that was pronounced by the courts, there is also that misconception within the courts that NGCDF is a fund as it were before, before 2015, where MPs are still patrons of this fund, and far from it, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, when I read that judgment, I could not help myself but clearly see that this was more of a political judgment than a legal judgment, Honorable Speaker. The politics in that judgment, Honorable Speaker, speaks volumes. Honorable Speaker, I am not a lawyer, but interpretation of the law is just as simple as reading plain English. With all due respect to the lawyers in this house and uh, uh, seasoned ones like yourself, Honorable Speaker, who has also sat as, uh, on, the, on, the, on the bench. Honorable Speaker, when the judges pronounce themselves on matters touching on CDF and claim that there is duplication of functions between NGCDF and the county governments, Honorable Speaker, that is a language spoken by the Council of Governors, Honorable Speaker. And we should not lie to ourselves that the judges are simply saying what the Council of Governors has been saying. Honorable Speaker, when we recrafted the NGCDF Act from the old CDF Act, the NGCDF Act was very particular that NGCDF will only serve two particular functions, that of education, excluding the early childhood education, ECD, that is a function that belongs to counties. And there is not a single constituency, Honorable Speaker, that I know of where NGCDF money is utilized either to construct or to take care of ECD classrooms in our primary schools, Honorable Speaker. The other function of NGCDF touched on security. And there is absolutely nothing in, N in the county government architecture and the functions under Schedule 4 for Constitution where county governments deal with matters security. It is NGCDF that has helped even in areas where banditry and even acts of terrorism, like in uh, Lamu and other areas, Honorable Speaker, and parts of northern Kenya, it is through NGCDF intervention to establish police posts and police stations, Honorable Speaker, that we have helped the national government in dealing with matters in security. The county governments, even in those very dangerous areas, go to the North Rift, go to northeastern Kenya, there is not a single county government involved in security work, Honorable Speaker. And therefore, Honorable Speaker, because I see my time is over, I just want to plead to our judiciary, Honorable Speaker, that you have no reason as judges to seem popular with governors. Honorable Speaker, because the, that judgment is just a popularity contest judgment, for judges who pronounce themselves, Honorable Speaker, on that matter of NGCDF. But may it be known to them that without NGCDF, there are children in this country who will never access education from the bursaries they get from NGCDF, Honorable Speaker. There are children in this country, Honorable Speaker, who years ago, without CDF, were studying under trees without classrooms. Honorable Speaker, with the recent floods, many of our schools had either classrooms or even... Honorable Speaker, I was saying, with the last floods, either classrooms or ablution blocks that were swept away by floods, without the intervention of NGCDF, Honorable Speaker, their children would not be in school today, Honorable Speaker. I know we have another chance with the Court of Appeal and all the way to the Supreme Court, Honorable Speaker. And we also have a chance to correct what we need to correct from this house because we are the law-making house. If we have to recraft another NGCDF Act, let us do it, Honorable Speaker. If we have to anchor NGCDF, 
as we proposed under the NADCO bills in the constitution, it is high time we now anchor NGCDF, not for the sake of members of parliament, but for the sake of the people we represent. Those people who have no voice if we don't speak to them. Those people who judges cannot hear unless we speak to the judges. Let us ask our judges to drop the politics, leave NGCDF alone and allow the children of Kenya to access education, allow the people of the North Rift, allow those who are terrorized by terrorists to live in a country where they are secure. Jeanette. Mr. Speaker, I can't agree more, Mr. Speaker, with the majority leader that this is a political judgment, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, there is no act of parliament that has been subjected to litigation more than the CDF Act, Mr. Speaker. And this is done basically by people who hate members of parliament. They are not doing it for anything else other than hatred that they have for members of parliament, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, when I saw when I read the judgment of Mr. Speaker of the 